All the countries that have put satellites into orbit, African nations have sent the fewest. The first satellite phone call between two world leaders was made in 1963. We congratulate you very heartily, Mr. President, for this very big achievement. Between U.S. President John F. Kennedy and Nigerian Prime Minister Abubakar Tafawa Balewa. Thank you, Prime Minister, and we look forward to seeing you back at the White House again someday. That was a few years after stations in Nigeria and Zanzibar kept track of the first American astronauts. Kenya hosted an Italian spaceport in its waters in the 1960s. It's still there, but out of use. France ran a test launch site in Algeria. Many space programs in Africa were built with satellites purchased from abroad. These were mostly for communications, television, and internet. Egypt and Nigeria have had these programs for more than 20 years. Angola launched one from Kazakhstan in 2017. It failed a few months later. And Morocco and Algeria have launched Earth observation satellites as well as those for communications. Gabon has a space program where it downloads data to manage its vast rainforest. But now that satellites are smaller and cheaper, many African countries are building them at home. South Africa put up a cube satellite way back in 2001. Now Ghana, Kenya, Ethiopia, Tunisia, Zimbabwe, and Rwanda have their own too. One benefit is developing a new generation of space expertise at home. One of the objectives was to uh, start teaching our young ones, um, high school students, elementary school uh, students, uh, satellite technology. At least 500 students we meet every, uh, every year uh, and, and, and give them the, the knowledge of, 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 of satellite technology. Soon, launches may return to the African continent. Djibouti recently announced it will develop a spaceport with China.